Welcome to our online training. Today we will be covering the intermediate functions of the downloader. At the conclusion of this training, you should understand how to convert Metastock data into ASCII text and Excel. Finally, we will also be covering deleting data and the deletion of securities. Today's training is designed to instruct in some of the basics of Metastock and the downloader program. We will provide some guidelines for using certain features within the software. However, nothing presented in this training is intended as, or should be construed to be, a recommendation to buy or sell any specific security. The information, software, and techniques presented today should only be used by investors who are aware of the risks inherent in trading. Equus shall have no liability for any investment decisions based on the use of their software any trading strategies, or any information provided in connection with the company. At the conclusion of this training module, you should be able to complete the process of converting Metastock data to different data formats, deleting data, and deleting securities. We will begin today's training by converting Metastock data into Excel, so let's open up the downloader. From within Metastock, select Tools, the Downloader. To convert data, data will need to be stored on your computer's hard drive. This data can come from either local data or data on demand. To begin the convert process, from the Downloader's main menu, select Tools, Convert. This will open the Convert Securities window. We will start by reviewing all of the options available within the Source section of the Convert window. Next to File Type is the format of the original data file. For this training example, we will select Metastock as our Source File Type. Within the Source Folder section is the location of the Source data file. To select the folder in the data file to be converted, click on to Browse. For training purposes, we're going to go into Metastock Data, NASDAQ 100. You can use the control key to highlight multiple data files, or you can use the shift key to highlight a list. For this training example, let's select Apple and click on to open. There is also the ability to manually type in the folder path. The only time we recommend manually typing in the folder path is when you're converting data from another software program, such as TC2000. The file name will be grayed out in the source section, since the file name is identified by the data files you have selected to convert. Now we'll select the location to save your converted data to. Let's review the destination section of the convert window. Starting with the file type, for this training example, let's select Excel. But you can select any of the other formats provided. Within the folder section, enter the path to the folder that you want to create the Excel file in. You can either type the folder path in, or you can simply browse to the destination folder if it already exists. For training purposes, we're going to select the Metastock data folder. If you want the Excel files to have a name other than the symbol, enter that name in the Files section. Now that we have both the Source and the Destination sections of the Convert window filled out, let's review the different options. Select Options to the right. Starting on the Source tab, let's review each option. Date Range. If you want to convert a specific date range of data, Select your first and last dates here. Use today's date will bring in the most recent day of data from the source file. Message limits is where you select the number of errors and warnings you want to be notified of during the conversion process. 
Periodicity. If you are converting data files with intraday time frames, select the proper time within the periodicity section. This is currently grayed out because we are working with end of day data. Minutes per bar. This option only applies when converting intraday data. So if you want five minute data, input five here. Traverse source folders when checked, the downloader will look to see if there are any subfolders of the parent folder that contain data files to convert. In this case, the parent folder is C colon Metastock data. Next, we will review the various options included in the destinations tab of the convert options. In the if the file exists section, let's review how each of these options work. Append data to end of file. You check this if you want to append the data in the source file to the end of the destination file. Choose the replace matching dates box if you want the source files dates to replace the matching dates in the destination file. Choose Replace Existing File if you want the converted source file to replace the existing destination file. Include Open and Open Interest. Choose this if you want the Metastock destination file to include fields for Open and Open Interest. These data fields are used when converting futures data. Create New Files. If this box is unchecked, new security files will not be created in the destination folder. The path in the source file will only be appended to or replace existing files. Traverse destination folders will create alphabetical folders to arrange the converted data files into. The newly created folders will be named A, B, C, etc. Export dates with two digit years. Choose this checkbox to export the dates in the source file with two digit years, 98 rather than 1998. Fields to output. Choose the output fields you want to include in the destination file. Output fields cannot be specified if the destination file is Metastock because it will convert whatever data fields are available in the source file. Click on OK and it will now save your settings. Select OK again and it will start the conversion of data. After converting the data, you will receive a conversion report. The report will show the list of files you chose to convert with either a green check mark, a yellow triangle, or a red X. A green check mark next to the file means that the data was successfully converted and stored. If either a red X or a yellow triangle